We are in Outlook 2019. Let's show how you can delegate access to have other people read your email as well as respond as you. So we click on the file menu, and this works a lot uh, for administrative assistants who they need to do this kind of thing for their boss. Under info, we'll click on account settings, and we'll click delegate access. So we'll go ahead and we see that Jane Doe Smith already has full access to uh, this particular person's email. So let's go ahead and click Add, and we can pick anybody else in the list. Let's go ahead and click John Smith, click Add, click OK. And here we see a list of different things that we want to uh, allow John Smith to do. So by default, the, under the calendar, we see that the editor can read, create, and modify items. You can also go to Author, which is a little bit less, Reviewer, which is even less, until you get to the uh, features that you want. You also can check or uncheck the Delegate Receives copies of meeting-related messages sent to this person. So basically, if, uh, if I get this particular message, it's also going to get a message uh, copied over to anybody I delegate, in this case, both Jane and John. Under Tasks, Inbox, Contacts, and Notes, Go ahead and give the appropriate rights that you want for those users. So let's just go ahead and give full access to John. And we'll go ahead and click OK and click OK. Now we'll log in as John and we will double check that we can do what we need to do. So we'll change to our John Smith profile and click OK. We'll click Verify to get our code in, and we'll also add the phone number as well. When we open up the email for John, we can scroll to the bottom and we see, look at that, there is the email under Robert. Click on there, and we should be able to see all the emails, and there they are. Now we can just confirm that we can send email as Robert, even though we're logged in, once again, as John. Let's click on New Email and look at the top where it says From. So it says From, we hit the drop down, we can either send it from John or from Robert. So let's say we're going, even though we're logged in as John, we're going to go ahead and say we're going to send it to Robert, from Robert, and we're going to send it to Jane. And we'll just go ahead and type in Test, and we'll go ahead and hit Send. So if we scroll down to the Robert email, we go to the sent items, we can see the item was actually sent from the Robert at ClickX3 account, not from the John account, even though we're logged in as John. So the delegation of access actually worked. So that's how we do that in Outlook 2019. And in this particular case, we're using Office 365, but this also works with Microsoft Exchange.